Good day, this is Sir Paya. So today is December 18, 2019, 9.37pm. Okay, so gawa tayo ng bagong tutorial, Skull Management System using C Sharp and SQL Server Database. So, so uh, first part, or part 1 ng ating tutorial, so gawa tayo ng main form. So since may hilig ako ng flat design, so gawain natin ito ng flat design. So, sa text is, um, tanggalin lang natin yung if remain. Then, start position. Set to center screen. And then, the um, form border style, set natin to fix single. Then, control box to false. Okay. And then, the fan side, I mean, fan style natin. So, gamitin ng Calibri and then uh, 10. Okay. So, yung size natin, so, lagyan natin siya ng 1,300. Then, ito is um, 6,500. So, check natin. Okay. So, meron tayong form. The next is, add tayo ng add the panel then duck to top. Okay. Then, this natin yung color. Okay. Then, add another panel inside the panel 1. And then, duck natin to, to right. Okay. So, dito natin lagay yung ating menu strip. So, add ng menu strip. Ayan. Then, duck. Select to and fill natin. So, again, ito, yung font natin. So, change natin to Calibri and then 10. Okay. So, set natin to 2. Enrollment. Then, this is uh, management. Then, this is... Um, Manage student, then manage teacher, manage schedule, manage grade, then manage subject. Then we have uh, records, those are records, natin. So, the student, student records, then we have the enrollment history, the class list. and um, archive so this is maintenance so, so maintenance add nothing um academic year and and this is strand so yung gawin natin in the system is for uh, senior high school then section then of course um, add tayo ng add tayo ng requirements so this maintenance then settings natin so school school settings then we have the account settings. And of course, we have the backup and restore. Then this is logout. So, 
anak new program okay and of course uh, this is minus strip minus strip one that um background color color that from p then minus strip that for color color dot white then minus strip that uh, cursor cursor siyang hand dito check natin if meron ayan ok so ayan sya isang dito sa baba is wala syang color natin ang color ito lang dito then right click lang natin to management na menu then properties so there's a properties meron ditong so lang item check natin ha kung may item then sa properties ok so ayun na so dito pala so choose natin to white and then the color is yeah then keep it to white so sa so records this is white the four color is white then the back color okay for maintenance back color and then the four four color is white settings settings natin dito natin natin yung i-block lang natin para makikita natin hindi um, white control t na lang ok so meron tayong menu for enrollment natin enrollment system so ginagawa natin dito ng label then this is full 12 so yung name niya is part for color dormant management system Okay, so meron tayong um, main menu sa ating enrollment management system. So, try natin gumawa ng another form. BTN. Ano? Um, Kaya muna tayo dito ng 
panel. Then si panel, i-dock natin. Okay. So, ayan. So, this is panel 3. Okay. So, dito natin ilagay lahat ng uh, form natin. Then, add tayo ng another form so if or m so na is the academic year academic year okay yan so sa academic year natin so again this is center screen then is calibri then the sizing is big single and then we have a control box set not into false okay natin yung academic year change natin yung name to ino ey um, frm academic year okay try natin yan, so dito natin lagay yung ating academic year so try natin lakihan yung academic year natin so for example uh, maximize natin sya then dito sa main natin okay, so dito um, academic year but sa pin natin sya nalagay na so dito sa click Lagay natin sa click. Okay. And then we have the if dot um, top label. So, set natin to false. So, panel 3. So, sa panel 3 natin ipalabas. Inside the panel 3 dot controls dot add then the uh, if natin. And then um, if dot bring to front then show natin dito okay so sa ating academic year so since naka maximize na siya so pwede natin siyang lagyan dito ng other panel so malit lang siya and then duck natin so copy natin to lagyan natin dito sa ating back color Lagyan natin siya ng Academic Year. Ito ang port sa kabila. regular font lang siya sa steam and then lagay natin siya ng close okay then ang core natin siya ang core natin ang core okay then this is this the dispose so run natin so academic year so meron tayong form for academic year okay tapos
Tapos, gawa tayo dito ng uh, data grade. Lagay tayo ng data grade dito. So, this data grade. Ayan. Tapos, yung back color niya. So, ito, lagay natin na back color. Then, add tayo ng color header. Lagay natin is EY or academic year uh, code tapos year and then the term and then status if naka-close ba siya or naka-open tapos add tayo dito ng image view, dalawang image view para pag close at open ng ating academic year so it moves is this EY code EY code is I fill natin so pa tayo ng isa uh, number then this is all cell year natin is call cell rin term, naka all cell status, all cell and then all cell ito rin naka all cell, ok so tanggalin natin to para hindi natin ma um, ma-imputa ng data dyan so allow user to add rows set natin to false ok, and then punta tayo dito kay row header. So, tanggalin natin to. Row header visible. Set natin to false. And then the selection mode. So, full row select yung gagamitin natin. And then dito, mayroon nakalagay na auto size. So, um, disable resizing natin. So, set natin ng 30. Ayan. And then, sa ating um, enable Headers visual style, set natin to false. Ayan. Ayan. And of course, ating default cells. So, dito is naka-highlight. So, ayan. Change natin to So, nang kulay siya. Siguro blue. Ito na lang siguro. So, lagay natin dyan. Okay. And then, sa ating anchor, so, yan, nakatap, bottom, left, and right na siya. So, check natin. Settings ng school. Ano, academic year. So, yan, meron na. Okay, add tayo ng button or so, pwedeng button gamitin natin pwede rin ang link label ang gagamitin natin so, example, link label ang gamitin natin so, change lang natin yung link color nya this is the link color so, lahat yan na may mga color is change lang natin ayan, tapos sa ating link behavior naka never underline sya then, pwede tayong mag-add dito ng image. Then, local resource. So, example, dito sa downloads natin. And then, add. So, hanap tayo. May add tayo dito na. Or new. So, ito na lang. Okay. Ayan. Tapos, uh, line natin to um, middle leaf natin. And then, sa link label natin, and of course, link label natin is add new. So, siguro atin bigyan pa ng space. Okay. Then, of course, yung cursor niya, so, naka-default, so, change natin to hand. 
So, ayan, nakadesign na tayo ng para sa ating academic year. Okay? Then, again, sa close, ito rin is yung Ah, course niya, set natin to. Ayan. Okay. Then, of course, gawa tayo ng database. Pachikman natin. Ah. Gawa tayo ng database, SQL Server. Add tayo ng database. New database. Tapos yung database natin is school. This is school management system DB. Okay. Kasi okay lang natin. Ayan. So, yung rename natin. This is C. Okay, tapos add tayo ng T-ball. New T-ball. So, example sa academic year table natin. So, this is EY code. Then, varkar lang natin siya. Park car, then naka sit natin to primary key. Then we have the year one. Park car, year two. Park car, then we have the term. Park car, status. Park car. So by default, ang status natin, so naka open siya. Okay. Then, save natin. TBL EY or academic year. Okay, refresh lang natin dyan. So, meron tayong table academic year. The next natin gagawin is gawa tayo dito ng or add tayo ng a class. So, class DB or database sa class DB natin. So, use, ano, kahit tayo dito mag-using. Sa class DB natin, so, meron tayong dito ang public um, string git connection. Ayan. And then, we have uh, try then catch exception x then so catch natin so return so um siguro dito na lang na Then, variable dito string uh, cn tapos yung collection string natin and of course return cn ok so try natin dito tayo sa uh, connect to database then check natin yung database server name natin so kung ano yung server name natin dito this tab nakalagay so siya yung i-select natin so again this is a, a tutorial so basic po lang basic lang po ito so, sa mga uh, gusto ng advance so siguro by uh, sort the mga tutorial so advance na yung uh, gaga, no ang gagawin natin at the this tab
Okay, this is the stop. V O V O one A V O one A then four F you know then uh, four F one A four F one okay so refresh natin check natin yung ating database kung makita natin dito ayan so check natin so, meron tayo yung dito yung school management system description natin ok so, advance so, copy lang natin to so, copy lang natin to ayan copy pwede natin rin i-close tapos lagyan natin dito and of course lagyan natin siya ng at sign yan okay wala na wala naman kasing uh, box last na ginamit natin so pwede lang yan okay tapos sa main form natin so, siguro tawagin natin dito open up uh, pag load ng form ano, uh, dito sa ating academic year so add tayo ng another form frm ey this frm ey or the academic year tapos center screen galing natin yan change to calibri fix single and of course control box ok so front colors lagyan natin sya ng black in the black uh, ito lang siguro Ayan, academic year so design lang natin yan so hindi po tayo gumamit ng framework so siguro sa mga next natin ano, sa later part ng ating mga tutorial natin so gagamit na tayo ng framework so for meantime ito muna yung gagawin nating design and the academic year and then the close button so this that is post para maklose yung form natin and of course add tayo dito ng um, year 1 tapos text box first the text box siguro is i-control lang natin to I may mean, nak windows so change natin to siguro control para asim sila ng kulay yan then this is year 2 Then we have the, the term. Okay, so this is term. Ayan, and then of course. Combo box. At then combo box. Combo box yung gagamitin natin. Okay, tanggalin natin yan. Pulling natin yung combo box. So again, sa combo box, so change natin yung window to control box ok, so sa combo box natin sa items so, lagyan natin sya ng uh, first term saka 
uh, second term okay and of course so uh, yan meron na tayong nagtayo ng button nagtayo ng button button uh, save Design natin, plot, and then, so, kulay natin is, ito yung gagamitin natin. Kulay natin dito sa ating back color, then si D, full color, change natin to, to white. Okay. Then of course, sa cursor niya, lagay natin siya ng and change the name to ptn save ok so this is txt year 1 txt year 2 and this is cbo term Okay, so dito si view term, punta tayo dito sa event. So, dito tayo sa uh, key phrase. So, e.handle para hindi siya ma-inputan ng user. So, yan. Then dito, like tayo dito. So, dito sa ating year 1. So, try, then catch exception na x then txt year 2 the text or that clear kung may error so pag wala txt year 2 the text um, c on long dot parse and then txt year 1 the text last one Okay, so, then of course so string that no. convert to string ok so ayan mag convert so dito lang siguro sa dot to string ok ayan so uh, using system so atin ang reference para sa SQL server database natin data dot SQL client Tapos, ito yung dalawang variable uh, by SQL connection. Dito nga pala. SQL connection CN then SQL command CM. Okay? Tapos, dito Pagin natin itong si class db class db in db new class db ok, tapos si yung connection natin si cm dot connection string then uh, db dot gate connection cm okay, so cm new sql connection so yun yung mag add
send that connection string and then no invocable member string cannot be used like a method dot connection string okay so db dot kit connection okay ayan or pwede natin ilagay dito si db dot connection so okay lang siya okay lang ilagay natin siya then dito tayo kay add try then catch so ang function ng try and catch try if ever there is some errors during execution so si catch so siya ang tatanggap ng error exception ni x din si end that close then message box that show um, x that message warning then message box button that ok message box icons that warning ok so, dito gawa tayo ng variable string then uh, ey code then a uh, text t here one that ticks text here two that ticks plus and then the or tanggalin lang siguro na rin to Let's the cbo term dot takes okay so again limit lang natin to 2 max length niya to 4 okay, so para hindi siya nga so apat lang kasi yung year natin is so 4 digit lang then ito set natin to disable to false okay then send dot open so pwede tayong magawa dito ng uh, if uh, txt year to the text is equal to string dot empty or txt year this is equal ayan or txt ayun yung mag or or so ayan then ano ito pala yung or dito hindi 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 pala word kaya pala so or txt year to the text is equal to string dot empty or cbo term dot text is equal to yan so merong error dito okay so pag may error so copy lang natin to copy word missing field and then meron tayo dito running and then return ok and uh, cn dot close so if ever walang error so dito tayo sa ating skill statement cm new sql command then insert into so name ng table natin name ng table natin is uh, tblay tblay then lagyan natin dito si ey code and then si year 1 year 2 
course term okay so dito si status is by default naka open siya so once na pag insert tayo ng bago so lahat ng mga previous uh, school year niya is i-close niya okay so before tayo mag insert add muna tayo dito ng isang school statement Mga natin to if this is box that show add new academic year this is box button that yes no then this is box icon that questions equal to dialog result dot yes so pag yes ayan so lang title dito so lagyan lang natin sya ng title pwede ng variable para sa title uh, string title management system okay so dito lagyan natin sya ng title so hindi yung warning so, title lagyan natin dito um, title dito rin so lagyan natin sya ng title then dito rin lagyan natin sya ng title ok tapos copy natin dyan So, na i-close muna natin if may mga naka-open na school year. So, update TBLEY set status to close. And active connection then same that execute ng query. Okay. So, yan. Close na yung mga if may naka-open na mga active na school year. Then, dito, values. So, copy natin to. So, actually, pwede tayong gum uh, gumamit dito na store procedure. So, example, try natin gumamit na store procedure. Store procedure. Ayan. So, dito sa ating procedure name change natin to uh, dbo dot the procedure name is um, dot sp sp uh, ey insert ok tapos yung variable na gagamitin natin dito so meron tayong So, check natin dito. So, mayroon tayong EY code. EY at EY code at EY code. Then, varcar. Yung nakasit natin dyan. Set natin ang 50. Then, comma. At uh, year 1. Varcar. Just 50. At uh, year 2. Varcar. Change natin to. I mean, uh, size is 50 then at term var car and then size is 50 okay tapos dito tayo maglagay ng skill statement so insert into tbl academic year ilagay natin dito is ey code year 1 year 2 then si term tapos values natin again natin that is si at ey code at year 1 at year 2 at at term okay then execute natin um, okay so may error siya so sp year uh, so this is year 2 
Then, check natin. Okay, execute. Ayan. So, kung tang, uh, tingnan natin dito si store procedure, refresh lang natin. So, meron tayong SP insert. SPEY insert. Okay, so, close na natin to. Ayan, so, so, dito, so, pwede na tayo dito mag Tanggalin natin to, Ayan. So, lagyan natin dito yung cm. That uh, connection. Send that connection. Ano? Um, send that. Um, command type. Command type that is third procedure. Then send that command text. Then command text. So, lagyan natin dito EC, SP, and then EY, tapos insert. Isame that parameters, that add with value. So, pasa natin si EY code. So, and then this is T, ano, this is uh, EY code. So, take note ha, kung anong variable na ginamit natin dito. So, for example, gumamit tayo dito ng UI code at UI code at year at year to at term. So, ito yung mga variable rin na gagamitin natin dito. Okay. Then, this is um, year 1, year 2, then the, the term. And the, this is txt year 1.txt and txt year 2.txt this is cbo term.txt and of course uh, cm.execute non query okay tapos message box tayo dot issue then new academic year has been successfully uh, saved uh, title message box button that okay message box icon dot information okay and after that gawa tayo ng procedure dito na reconsist task uh, public void clear so clear lang natin si txt year 1 dot clear then txt year 2 dot clear then cbo term dot text and then uh, txt year 1 dot focus ok then tawagin natin dito si clear Okay, so try natin para yung program. So, academic here. Click natin to. So, FRM EY. <coughs> New FRM EY. Then, if that uh, should dialog. view dialog ok run natin yung program then add tayo ng academic year then add example uh, 2019-2020 school year is first term then save so add new academic year yes so new academic year has been saved Okay, so automatic nag-save siya. So check natin dito sa record natin. Right click, edit top 200 records. So meron tayo ditong 
uh, na-create na record. So, paano natin siya i-display dito sa ating data grid? Okay, so dito, um, F7 tayo. So, pag natin ng reference para sa ating MySQL data dot, I mean, SQL server, SQL client. Tapos, create tayo dito ng SQL uh, connection cn SQL command cm SQL data reader dr Tapos, uh, db class or class db class db and db then new class db Tapos, dito sa ating connection cn um, new SQL connection. So, pwede natin siya yung dreads na db.connection. Ano? db.getconnection. Ayan. Okay. And of course, add tayo dito ng title. So, string. So, copy na lang natin itong title dito. Ayan. So, ito pa yung title natin. And lagay natin dito sa ating Ayan. Then what next? Add tayo dito ng uh, pa-display ng record. Public void uh, load records. Then we have the data grid view 1 that rows that clear. Tapos gawin tayo ng variable int i Initial value is 0. Then send that open. Send that open. Then of course, once na mag-open tayo ng send, so i-close natin. Send that close. Okay, tapos dito is cm. New SQL command. And then we have select asterisk from name sa table, table ey. Okay. And then dr cm.execute reader then loop natin while dr dot while dr dot so i loop natin then of course mag open tayo ng dr then close the dr and the data grid view 1 the grid view 1 that rows that add so go tayo dito ng variable increment by 1 so, I, kasi may, meron tayong row, um, row count na ginawa dito. So, we have a row count here. Then, the DR, tapos yung EY code, DR EY code, the to string, DR, then the year 1, So, ipin natin. Merging year 1 natin. Plus, uh, plus, dr equal to so, this is double quotation double quotation that to string wala tayo dito and then the last one is ano meron pala dr da na dr da or dr term da to string in dr status da to string ok so Paano natin matawag to? Itong load record from here sa ating academic year or EY if I'm EY. So, first is kaya tayo dito ng variable para mayroong mag-hold sa atin. So, the FRM you know, correct. FRM academic year FRM and then dito or if lang siguro then we have the FRM academic year FRM uh, 
ano so hindi dito sa component dito or kahit if we and then uh, this dot if is equal to if okay then of course dito may nabago so lagyan natin siya ng this and then dito after save ang record after niya clear tawagin mo natin si if dot load records so dito rin sa ating academic year so, tawagin natin si if dot load records ok so check natin ok so meron tayong record dito para sa ating no, first record ng ating academic year So, try natin gumawa ng new record. So, ito is naka-open. So, gawa tayo ng bagong academic year. For example, at 2019-2020 and then second term. Kasi pag first term, so hindi po siya mag-save. Ayan. Okay. So, mag-produce siya ng error. Second term, ito save natin. Automatic ito is ma-close. Then, itong bago natin is ma-open. Ayan. So, open siya. Then, yung isa is close. Okay. Then, ito sa ating academic year. So, change natin yung background natin. Ito sa ating column in the... Okay. So, dito. Background natin is background color. Ayan. So, check natin. Okay. So, so dito, ito yung folder na nag-close at uh, nag-open. So, image tapos folder natin ang folder na naka-close at saka naka-open siguro yung arrow na lang siguro ito siguro ang naka-close at saka ito yung naka-open so lagyan lang natin siguro ng ah, legit Okay. So, I think, lagyan lang natin dito ng lagyan natin dito ng tapos at yun ang label so, yung isang label tayo dito ng font So, ito po yung close. So, yan. Tapos, this is close. Ayan, close. Yung isa naman is open. So, this is open. Then, tayo dito ng
So, sa anchor natin, ito natin lagay sa kabila. Okay, so, ayan na. Gawa na tayo ng uh, gawa tayo ng first module sa ating enrollment management system. So, again, thank you for watching sa mga bago pa lang sa channel ko. So, ako pa yung nagtuturo ng mga uh, basic programming kung paano gumawa ng simple system using C Sharp and Ruby.net. Then, uh, siguro po may time tayo is gagawa rin tayo ng Java at saka sa um, Android Studio. So, kung paano natin integrate yung .NET sa Android Studio natin. So, using uh, wireless connection or uh, hotspot. Okay, so again, don't forget to like, uh, comment, and uh, share and subscribe. So, maraming salamat. Kandang gabi.